Hello, back out again. And today I am covering um, a place called the Leckenfield Estate. So uh, that's number four in the largest landowners in the South Downs National Park. And it is 14,000 acres. We're getting big. You may also know this place as Petworth, uh, quite well known. Lovely town, I've just driven through it. Um, and it's beautiful here, apart from the noise from traffic, it is amazing. Um, yeah, so I will explain why Leckenfield Estate is a landowner and why it's also known as Petworth, because there's a bit of it is National Trust. I've got to show you. In fact, it's not doing it justice. I'll just show you where I am. I'm on my way up to Petworth House again, very well known. I'll just flick it around, show you this beautiful lake. Hang on a minute. Okay, a bit further on. I seem to be having a bit of a video disaster today. So anyway, right, I've come a bit further behind me. There's loads of deers um, and the lake. That way is hopefully we'll get a glimpse of the house. But anyway, let me, before the video goes again, give you a little bit of a lowdown on the Leckenfield Estate, 14,000 acres, aka part of its Petworth. So the Petworth bit, um, which is Petworth House and the house and park, which is where we are now, surrounding it, is now owned by the National Trust. It was part of the, I'll talk about the Percy family. So I think we'll talk about it, but basically Leckenfield is the bit that wasn't given to the National Trust. So a bit of history, it's been held by the Percy family, who are quite famous family since 1150 get that to the current owners sorry i think i was in the sun the current owners are their descendants and it was given as a royal gift by adeliza who was the widow of henry i to her brother um bear with me a sec okay so the percy family were the were, were the earls of northumberland and this was basically their southern residence so they were the most powerful family in northern england um, so the, the king relied on them to sort of hold the north. Um, might be Game of Thrones. <laughs> and yeah, this was their coming. southern residence. So Petworth House, it was first record of a manor in 1309. It was rebuilt in 1688. Um, and in 1670, the estate, get this, passed to a daughter. Oh my God, that doesn't happen very often. As you'll know from my series, it normally goes to the sun, but there was no heir. Um, so it went to Lady Elizabeth Percy in 1670, as there was no male heir. Um, so it sort of became the Wyndham family, which relates to the Percy. So it's still the same family, and they have owned it since um, 1750. And all this bit round here, you've probably heard of Lancelot Capability Brown. I'm just doing a spin round, it's beautiful. Um, was designed by Lancelot Capability Brown. Um, and it was, as I said before, was a deer park. Um, and Petworth, I just drove through it. It's a very nice little town, apart from the traffic that's everywhere. Worth a stop in, I'd say. Anyway, a couple of interesting facts. It's quite big. 1763, it had a workhouse and it was a jail recorded in 1788. So there you go. Right, done that bit. I'm hoping I'm gonna go around the corner if I might, I'm not sure, because I've not been here before, might get a gander of the house. So I'll catch you in a minute. Ah, uh, I'll just catch up with you. I've been walking around this wall with heavily wooded trees for quite a while. And I'm thinking the house is behind there. You can't see it. I'm not going to get to see it. <laughs> you know, I can still do the video. And then, oh my God, I just thought, there it is. It is mind blowing. Um, I've never seen it in real life before. I've probably seen it on telly, I can't remember where. <laughs> I love all the historical stuff, but there it is. We can go right up towards it. Um, I don't think it's open. I, mean, I guess not. It's not the time of year. But just look at it. It is ridiculously big. As I say, it's not owned by the family now. It's owned by the National Trust. Um, I might. I'm going to check this in a minute when I get my paper out. But I think it was something to do with the inheritance and tax and 
stuff like that and they handed the house over but kept the bog of the land anyway i'll check that but this is it i'll just pause for a second uh, and then i'll come back when i'm a little bit closer a bit closer there she blows <laughs> i don't know how many rooms she is it is i don't know i'll call it she but it's a big whopper um, as i say it's been around a long time so as i'm here let's talk a little bit more so yeah okay so petworth house and park were given to the national trust in 1947 opened to the public in 1953 and it was basically given in lieu of death duties um it's often used for filming right now i've checked which ones they filmed at and this is probably why i recognize it bridgerton I guess a lot of you will have seen that. Um, so it's used for all sorts of different filming. Uh, yeah, so. It's all right, there's loads of people here, which is to be expected. So the current owner is John Max. Now, this is not the house. This is of the Leckenfield Estate. So would have owned this, but they gave it. They had to give it to the National Trust. But all the rest of the land is currently owned by John Max Henry Scarwen Wyndham, second Baron Egremont aka known as Max Egremont. Um, he was born in 1948. He's owned the estate since 1972. He's a writer. And actually, even though the National Trust own it, part of the deal is the family still get to live in the house. Um, they also own 3,000 acres still in Cumbria. As I mentioned, the Percys were a big landowner up north. Um, and then Egremont Castle, hence the name. Uh, the estate includes this estate, 20 farms, 280 houses they have shoots and fishing so the just to let you know why is it called Leckenfield well the Leckenfield name comes from Baron Leckenfield which is a title created by Queen Victoria um, as her not as her son but for one of the uh, family because the son was illegitimate so he couldn't inherit the Earl of Egremont title so that's where the Leckenfield name comes from but yeah, oh, this is the best one yet. You can get right up to it. It's amazing. Okay, I think I have covered everything. Um, so I'm gonna carry on my walk and then I will be heading back eventually, but I can't think of too much else. Oh, something else it really is. Okay, catch you in a bit. Okay, back in the car. Oh, it's glorious. It's really lovely out there. Um, I know it's not a walking video, but the car park, three quid. Um, it's worth it, I would say. Um, and then, yeah, get to see the house. I'm gonna come back for a proper, a long, you know, big day walk. Anyway, a day walk. Um, so that was Leckenfield in brackets, Petworth Estate, the fourth largest um, estate in the South Downs National Park. So, I will catch you next time. Bye.